The first time we heard Will You Love Me Tomorrow on the radio, we were in our 1956 Mercury Monterey. We didn't care that the speakers were low fidelity. We knew how it was supposed to sound. The following week, Will You Love Me Tomorrow leaped onto the charts with what the industry called a bullet. Jerry and I had set a million as the number of singles sold that would trigger him quitting his day job. The day Donnie learned that the record had reached the million mark, he insisted on conveying the information personally to Jerry. He had his driver pick me up, and then we drove to Jerry's workplace in Brooklyn. Upon hearing the news, Jerry walked away from his job and, as he said many years later, he hasn't had a real job since.